Hello, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, good evening. thank you. Good evening. Okay, welcome everybody. Today is a very good day to learn English, right? Is it? Are you tired? Are you busy? <laughs> are you still busy? Well, actually, we are always busy, right? We have a lot of things to do at home, but now we are going to dedicate just these two hours, 120 minutes, right? in order to learn just a little bit of English. Remember that we are still uh, looking at some vocabulary, remember? And we started the unit two. So I hope everybody is okay now to learn and to continue practicing the vocabulary. This is the industrial vocabulary, remember? Industrial vocabulary. Mm -hmm. What does your company do? What do they dedicate to? Right, what do they manufacture? Good evening. Hello, good evening, Alma. Well, thank God everybody is here. And also, I appreciate your punctuality. So I will call the roll, please. Everybody, remember to turn your camera on. And when I call your name, remember to say press. Okay, you guys ready? Ready, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's start by Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. All right. Alma Yamilet Hernandez de Vasquez. Present, teacher. Okay, nice to see you. Carlos Edgardo Vasquez Espino. Carlos Eduardo Alarcón Galdames. Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you today, Fernando? Okay, great. We are calling the roll. So uh, now we are calling Carlos Ernesto. Is Carlos Ernesto joined? Not yet, right? Hi, Maris... good evening. Okay, there you are. Good. Good evening, Carlos Ernesto. Damaris Lizette Guevara Herrera. Is the Maris over there? Evelyn Yajaira Martinez de Jacinto. Fernando Enrique Martinez Massin. Present teacher. Okay, there you are. We are glad that you are early today. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Not yet, right? Freddy Enrique Vasquez Tolorzano. Present teacher. Great. Welcome, Freddy. Gabriela Lisette Hernandez Cruz. Miss Gabriela, not yet. Maria Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Okay, great. Nice to see you. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Marta Esther Ayala Diaz. Present teacher. Okay, nice to see you, Esther. Well, actually, I can't see you. I just see your picture. Yeah. Ronaldo Josue Guerrero Hernandez. Is that Ronaldo? Aren't you there yet? Isn't he? No, he is not. Oh, well. Le consulto a Ronaldo. Okay, please, please. Please do. And remember that he has to be connected for it to count. Okay. Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher. Oh, welcome, Rosa Estela. Now you ha we have you here 100%, right? Great. And Saul Alvarez Pacheco. Present teacher, but I connect to a, I have a listener, but I have an activity in my work. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you for Thank telling you. me. 
Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, great to see you, Stephanie. All right. Yeah. I saw your profile picture, Stephanie, and you look very nice. You look very nice in your profile picture over there on the WhatsApp. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Well, people, today we are going to start. Oh, hello, Carlos Edgardo. I'm sorry. Hello, welcome. I'm so glad when you, yeah, when you show Good evening, up. teacher. Hi, good evening. Okay, today we start, well, yesterday we started the unit two. And in the unit two, we are, we are focused in the socializing part. So this is the speaking part. So we are going to try to create conversations. This is the unit where we are going to start um, making the conversations up according to the topic we are in. In today's class, we are going to see something about the simple present, even though we know how to use the simple present, we know the structures and the bar pattern of the simple present, but we are going to uh, create a conversation presenting or introducing a third person in the staff, okay? A third person in the staff. This will be useful when, for example, someone else come uh, to our company as a visitor and they need to know uh, what um, what people or what are what people are part of the staff and what are the responsibilities of each people in the team. Okay, this is what we are going to study. But let's go back to the feedback. Yeah, is it okay? Let's go back to the feedback. The feedback is about the industry vocabulary. We didn't finish the written exercises in our manual. No terminamos los ejercicios escritos en nuestro manual. Así que vamos a... Oh, okay, Carlos Eduardo. Okay, no problem, it's okay. Uh, <clears throat> vamos al manual. Let's go to the manual and let's start by doing that. Okay, let's go by... Uh, I'm sorry, let's... Um, start by this feedback. Uh, we want to remember about the conversation we had, all right? And the conversation we had, what does your company do? What does your company do? So we're going to start with that question, all right? So I will ask first, um, Rosa Estela, what does your company do? It's an organization, uh, international organization uh, of ayuda humanitaria. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, humanitarian help or assistance? Yes, assistant, assisting, okay. humanitarian. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So what do they do? Well, they assist people. They collaborate with communities, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's... Rosa Stella, please choose a classmate and ask the same question. What does your company do? Okay, Freddy, what does uh, your company do? What does? What does? What does, mm -hmm. what does your company do? Uh, my company is a financial service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is generally <laughs> yeah but it's good it's a good answer it's a very good answer i was just thinking about uh the grammar in your answer because you say my company is a financial uh-huh but i couldn't get the other part company is oh okay instead of instead of service you can say offers okay my company offers uh, financial services, because it's not only one okay. service, right? They offer a variety. Uh, they have different services, right? But they are all related to money, right? Financial. Mm -hmm. So financial services. There you go. Like this. My company offer, offers financial services. Yeah. I think it looks better 
because of the question, okay? This is because of the question. You gave <laughs> come up honey, no, company, company, all right? I made a mistake writing that. Company, yeah, there you go. Okay, Freddie, please choose another classmate and ask the question. What does your company do? Of course, teacher. Aida, what does your company do? <laughs> My company uh, offers the um, credits uh, for mot motorcycle. Oh. Uh -huh. Motorcycles. Motorcycles. Mot motorcycle. Uh -huh. Motorcycles. Motorcycle. Uh -huh. So, breathe in, breathe out, and relaxed. You will say <laughs> the complete answer, okay? <laughs> the complete answer. My company. Uh -huh. My company offer offers credit offers credit for motorcycles. Very good, very good. Credits for motorcycles. Okay. Uh, actually, the credits are for people, right? But it's okay. We say for motorcycles, like moving that in uh just one direction, right? But if, for example, we could say um. You can use we, you can use they, you can use my company, right? And then you can say offers credits or credit solutions, okay? For our position of mm, for acquisitions of motor cycles okay this is adding more words but you gave a really good answer okay your answer was good but we can say it this other way okay offers credit solutions for acquisition of motorcycles okay okay mm -hmm. that's like a little oh leveling it up right leveling it up okay mm -hmm. Now, Aida, please, choose another classmate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fernando? What does your company do, Fernando? Well, Fernando. What does your company do? Then it means you, Noel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Fernando. Thank you. Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> okay. Fernando, yeah. what? <laughs> I am a, a contable assistant. Again, again. My company. I am a content assistant. A content assistant. Okay. Uh, that's your job position. Is that your job position? I sería eso, auxiliar contable, teacher. Okay, but that's your job position. We are asking, what does your company do? What does your company do? ¿Qué hace tu compañía? What does your company do? Ah, okay, no, he entendido. Okay. Eh, sería... Eh, Fabricación, material, building. Okay, they manufacture? No, no sé si eso es, es eh, 
prácticamente fabrica materiales de construcción. Ok, they manufacture uh, construction materials, right? Uh, or equipment, or equipment, construction materials. Like this. Is that okay? They produce. Okay. The manufacture material construction. A construction materials. Construction materials. Okay. okay. Yes, construction materials. Okay, now you, Fernando, please ask the question to another classmate. ¿Quién falta? Everybody, you can see all of them, like Alma, Gabriela, Carlos, Edgardo, Stephanie, uh, Fernando, Enrique, Carlos, Eduardo, oh, no, he's just a listener, uh, Marta, Esther, Isabel, Marta, Alicia. Gabriela, um, is, what does do your company do? My company offers uh, educa educational no service. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. The company offers educational services. Okay. Okay. You don't produce. You don't create. You don't do all of those things. You can just say, "Uh, we are a school." Okay. We are a a children's school. Is it okay? Children's school. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's a good one too. So because this is a school, right? This is a school, so it's kind mm -hmm. of strange or weird to say my company offers. Actually, they do, <laughs> but in uh, to answer the question, I think it will be easier using the e verb. All right, because it's a school. Now you ask the question, Gabriela. Um. Isabel ya participó. No. Nope. Isabel, um, what does your company do? Uh, my company offer a delicious fruit chicken opting in a specialization. Thank you for my. Okay, that's very nice, but it's kind of high. It's kind of high. Allow me just to get three words. My company uh, makes, did you say makes? My company offers. Offers, okay. A delicious free chicken. Fried, fried, fried. chicken. Okay. Mm -hmm. Opting in an specialism. Eh, esa palabra, mm, thank you, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Can you spell it for me? Um, oh, take out. Take out. Okay, take out. Uh -huh. Format. Okay, okay, uh huh. Hmm. Outstanding and specializing the takeout format. Is that correct? Sí. Does it say outstanding or what is the other word? La palabra antes de specializing? Um, en formato, quise decir. En, es, en español, formato. Eh, no, ese es el final, ¿verdad? Opción. Ajá, no, no. Sí, antes... opción. 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 Options. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I got it. I got it. My company offers a delicious fried chicken option, a special a specializing takeout format. All right, that's good. 
that's good and it's very complicated but it is nice and it's correct it doesn't have anything else to do right uh-huh okay. mm -hmm. but in one word they make or they sell fried chicken and other products right made out of chicken or yeah chicken not poultry because chicken okay there you are thank you isabel thank you okay. isabel Help me, help me uh, with the pronunciation, okay? Say it with me. My company offers... My company offers... A delicious... A delicious... Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Option. Option. Specializing... Es specializing... In the takeout format. In the takeout format. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much. Now, Isabel, please ask the question to another classmate. Okay. Stephanie, what does your company do? My company is Cosmetics, named Mina Expert, and providing the best service in barber, makeup, manicure, pedicure, eye dress, combing, and spa. Very nice. Very nice. It's complete. Your definition is complete, Stephanie. Yes, it is complete. So now you know, Mina Experts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> very nice thank you all right now stephanie you do the question to the last classmate now okay marta Alicia. Uh, what does your company do My company offers credit solution for acquisition of mot motorcycles. Very good, Marta Alicia. Wow. You said it correctly. Just acquisition, okay? Acqui acquisition, yeah? But that's correct. Everything you said is correct. Okay, people. Now we know how to ask and answer what your company activity is. So it's necessary to manage the verbs manufacture, create, produce, offer, um, um, make, um, let's remember, and design was the other one that we uh, learned yesterday. Okay, so those are verbs. But now we want to see what kind of company you work at. What is the industrial field where they are operating? Mm, do they operate in the um, financial and the education and the communication and the health care and any other? Okay, so let's go to the manual. There we have a link. Okay, on page number 19, if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's go to page uh, 20, okay? Page 20, it says, match the product or the service to the corresponding industry type. So let's do it together, okay? Let's do it together before uh, continuing with the new topic, okay? Please work, Carlos, have a question. Tell me. Um, Teacher, eh, acabo de hablar con Ronaldo. Dice que anda pasando consulta. Oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we are. We need to match the products to the corresponding industry types. Okay. Let's read them. 
Okay, let's read them. The beauty and personal care industry, the construction industry, the textile industry, telecommunications industry, finance industry. You see, it doesn't say financial, okay, but the financial services can go over here, okay. The automotive uh, industry, the packaging industry, the beverage industry, the tourism industry, the pharmaceutical industry, okay? So let's learn the pronunciation first, okay? Everybody, the beauty and personal care industry. The beauty and personal care industry. Mm -hmm. The construction industry. The construction, the construction industry. industry. The textile industry. The telecommunications industry. The finance industry. Finance industry. The automotive industry. The automotive industry. The packaging industry. The packaging industry. Okay, let's say it again. The packaging industry. The packaging industry. The beverage industry. The beverage industry. Again, the beverage industry. The beverage industry. The tourism industry. Tourism. The pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical industry. Okay, now let's do the match. Let's do the match. I will mute myself and you are going to complete this exercise. Please, everybody participating. Okay, everybody participate. Uh, Carlos Edgardo, is it possible if you come to the board and write what um, they tell you? All right, Carlos Edgardo, are you able to come to the board? Yeah. Okay, then I will mute myself. You may start now. The bank, yeah, it's market in the financial industry. And number two, soft drink, the beverage industry. The key is to the deterrence industry. Um, number four is energy. Number four, it's energy. Number five is letter B. Number nine is letter A. Number nine, letter A. Number six. Um, number 
Number one, the banks, uh, the financial industry, uh, number two, soft drinks is the beverage industry. Number three, uh, guided tours, guided tours is the tourism industry. Number four, hardware boxes is the packaging industry. Number five, buildings is the construction industry. Number six is mobile phones is the telecommunication industry. Number seven, medicine. Medicine is the pharmaceutical industry. Number eight, car components is the automotive industry. Number eight, nine, tire selling services is uh, the, the beautiful and personal care industry. And number 10, clothes is the textile industry. Great. Thank you very much, Carlos. And thank you very much, everybody. Now, is there any questions so far about the vocabulary in this activity? Uh, letter J, pharmaceutical. Yes, pharmaceutical. Mm -hmm. uh, letter H, the mm -hmm. beverage. No. Letter H, letter H, H, the beverage. H, the beverage. H, beverage. The beverage industry. Yes. Yes. Okay, there is a word here that you are going to list. Uh, maybe you will hear this word in two different uh, pronunciations. Maybe you will find this word like mobile, mobile phones or mobile phones. Mobile is British, okay? Yes. And mobile, mobile is American. So it doesn't matter if you hear mobile or mobile, they are talking about the same thing. Okay, my mobile, my mobile, right? And what about the other? Oh, well, I heard a problem with it. guided. Look at this, guided tours, guided tours, guided tours. Mm -hmm. And these other car components, car components, not components, but components, car components. Mm -hmm. There you go. And those more than anything. Oh, packaging, packaging, packaging. Okay, packaging, packaging, packaging. Yeah. Packaging. Hmm? Let's listen. Mobile American. Phones. American says. Mobile phones. You see? This is American. Mobile phones. Mobile. Mobile phones. Yeah. And, and British. Hold on, let me just check. So slow. Pronunciation is between British and American English. We are going to compare the two. Starting with British English, we usually pronounce the word like this. Mobile. You see? Mobile. 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 Do you hear? Now, let's take a look at the mobile. Mm -hmm. In American English, we usually pronounce this word like this, mobile. 
Mobile, right? Mobile. Okay, but mobile and mobile, they don't refer to the same thing because usually in American English, they call it, they don't call it mobile. They call it cell phones, as we know, right? A cell phone, but in British, they call it mobile phones, okay? So it's more common that you say cell phones, but if they produce it, okay, that they are mobile, more mobile phones, right? All right, are we okay so far with this? A vocabulary? No questions, okay. Now let's go and write these sentences. Let's write these sentences. Follow the example, okay? Follow the example. This is the way to talk about what industry is your company in. And we are seeing these, uh, for example, when we talk to anyone, maybe in an event like a seminar, a conference, and you have to interact with different people from other companies. Uh, so you have to talk about your company. So for example, at Refresh and Live, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. Now let's think about fix and care. What idea does it give you? At fix and care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We what do you think the, the beauty? they do fix do you think fix in the beauty i think fix is for cars right but care is um my maintenance right okay fix and care if you say in the beauty um, what do you think they do if we say offer Mm -hmm. Because of the beauty thing, as Aida said, uh huh. Automotive parts. I'm sorry. Automotive, automotive parts. Okay, automotive parts. Well, that's car components, right? Car components. We are in the automobile um, industry, right? This is different. Automobile, right? Auto. Automobile industry. There we go. Motive, motive, I'm sorry, automotive. There you go, automotive industry. Now, what about enjoy and travel? And enjoy and travel. At we and, offer, and travel, we offer guided tours. We are in the we are so we in, in, in the. the Okay, what about business bank? At business bank, we offer
Financial service. Loan. We are the we are in the financial is uh, financial industry. At this resort. We offer we offer relaxing <laughs> uh, service service de hoteles o de alojamiento. Commodities. Yes. We are the industria hotelera. Hotel industry. Hotel industry. Hotel. 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 Mm -hmm. Hotel. Hotel. There you industry. go. Okay. Now, we are going to uh, prepare a two-minute conversation about your companies. Okay? You will have to determine what's the expertise of your company and the industrial classification in the location, where are the headquarters, where are the branches, where it operates, okay? We are going to follow this example, right? Let's follow this example, the first one we saw yesterday, okay? Just the verbs and the industry types we learn. Is that okay? Okay, let's go to create these conversations. So I will spend this. Just going to do it.
please join your rooms. No, 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 My teacher, nice to meet you. Okay, con los nombres, los nombres propios, teacher. Solo vamos a practicar la conversación o la vamos a adaptar a nuestra compañía. Exactly, your own information. Yeah. Create a conversation, but about your companies, about your own information. Okay. Thank you. Entonces. Mm, nosotros manufacturamos. We manufacture clothes. Clothes. Mm -hmm. Yo empiezo. Hola. Yo empiezo y usted presenta su empresa porque digamos, yo le diría, digamos, hello, my name is Marta. Nice to meet you. Usted me dice, nice to meet you too. Y uh -huh. me dice su nombre y usted dice el nombre I work for y ahí me dice usted dónde trabaja. Ok. Bueno, se usted con das... Pero es que vamos o sea, a hacer como... conversación solo cambiando nuestros puestos de trabajo y nuestros nombres o hacer una conversación nueva. Yo digo que tomemos el ejemplo acá. Solo cambiemos los nombres de la empresa, digamos. En todo caso, sería su empresa. Ok. Hi, teacher. Hello. Teacher. ¿Tomamos la misma conversación o tenemos que hacer una conversación nueva? Just follow the example, ok? And use your own information, ok? You can use the one we have in the exercise too. You can use that one. But following the example, use your own information. Okay? No. Hmm? Ah, pues la misma. Oh, fácil. <laughs> <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> Bye, Marta. Entonces, comenzamos. Bueno, déjame poner. Nice to meet you. I'm uh -huh. I work for is the one. Yellow 
offers educational services. I work for El nombre de la compañía. ¿Cómo que se llama? Es Ana Fernanda con los nombres. ¿Cómo? Tabla residencia. Ajá, por ejemplo, Internet. Aquí creo que podemos poner resident, residencial. ¿Cómo se escribe esto? Residencial. Resident, residential sí. Internet. Eh, residential Telephones. And que son los, como los teléfonos sí. de, de, de así no de celular eh, celular si no sé cómo se escribe eh, celular creo que se escribe normal ¿Ah? creo que es igual así celular en diferente es el diferente cama And different, and different cell phone. Uh, cell uh -huh. yes. sí, eso es. Uy, ¿cómo se escribe? Separado. Cell phone. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. And different cell phone. Um, cell phone. And the residential telephones are landlines. Okay. Landlines. The residential telephones are landlines. Go to the chat. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Ok. Uh, it's the same, teacher. Landlines. Landlines. Oh, ok. Suena muy bonito, line, line. Line, lines. Y es la Nines, es el teléfono fijo. Ajá, eso. We, are uh, we offer service of telecommunication, for example, residence. Residence. Yes, yes, it does. We have, uh, podemos ponerle una 100, 150. No, mejor un número que no me cuesta decir. <risa> Diez. Ten. Ten. Sí, ten. Aunque tiene un montón. Ten. <risa> ten. Uh, uh, este sería... Uh, le ponemos el restaurante. Resta ¿Cómo le llama? Ahí no vamos a ir así como está ahí, ¿verdad? Solo donde dice um, ten, uh, ten. Uh. ¿Qué quiere decir manufacturing? Ah, ahí entonces solo le vamos a poner ton pollo. No, lo que pasa es que manufacturing es ya la actividad. Ah. Este... No, vamos a hacer nosotros. Ajá, My name. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I, I am Fernando. I work for Agape. What does Agape, Fernando? What does Agape do? Uh, what does Agape do, Fernando? We manufacture. Cardboard boxes, 
por Viking. Okay. Va a poner su información de su empresa. Lo que yo hago entonces. Ah, no, no. Lo que su compañía entonces, hace. Ah, vaya mi compañía. Como es mi compañía, como es una NG, este, ahí puedo decir nada más, Hell does must in need. Ayudamos a los necesitados, a los más necesitados. But you have different um, areas that you offer help. Um, allow me to see. Let me check, let me check. Por ejemplo, quiero ver. Oh. Ah, entonces sería, ah, pero aquí va. Como poníamos ahí, con lo que estábamos diciendo, my company. Uh -huh. Eso es lo okay. que decía. Uh -huh. no sé. mm, I'm sorry, can I see? No. Está bien, perdón. Eh, no, 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 it's not okay. Um, It's not a company, it's a foundation. So you can say Agape is a foundation. Okay, ah. it's a foundation that Like this. Yeah. Agape is a foundation that provides resources to the need and poor. To the needs. Tiene que ser ahí con una S. To the needs. And poor. And poor. To the needs and poor. Okay. Teacher. Hmm? How do you say financiero de motocicleta? Credit. Credit. No. Found. Uh, do, 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 found. Uh, financial. Financial solution for motorcycle. I think this will be the best way, but hmm. You offer, you provide, you issue. What's the real bad boy? Now, I can't change my my mind. Uh, I will say the same thing as I said before. Uh, we offer credit solutions. We offer credit solutions to uh, 
acquire or for motorcycle acquisition. Like this, we offer credit solutions for motorcycle acquisitions. Nosotros ofrecemos uh -huh, credit solutions. Uh -huh. Yeah. Credits. Credits to uh, buy a motorcycle. Okay. Credits to buy a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I can't think about another mm, deal. Uh, or land, land loans for motorcycles. Yeah, like this, land loans for motorcycles. Loans también es crédito, okay? And they give you, les dan como una prenda, ¿verdad? También. Uh -huh. La misma moto queda en prenda, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Ah. Okay. Y es... Prestar. 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 Uh -huh. Ah, prestar. Y loans ah. es préstamo de dinero. Loans. Ya uniendo las dos palabras, entonces, ¿qué? Uh -huh. Prestar eh, dinero. Préstamos. Ah, exacto. Prestar, ah. Ajá. Prestar dinero para las motocicletas, para comprar motocicletas. Uh -huh. mm. yeah. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you, teacher. Gracias, Fernando. Ok, gracias. Ok. Bye. My name is Marta Alicia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Fernando. I work for Agape. What does Agape do, Fernando? Agape is a foundation that provides resources to get and it improves. Needs improves. Teacher. Now you can ask, eh, Fernando, what does your company do, Marta Alicia? Yeah. Oh. You can continue and ask the question to Marta Alicia. Okay. Ajá, Marta Alicia tiene risa. Ajá, cabal. Ajá. Oh, no, no. I see that. Ajá. No. No, because you said what your company does. Okay. So you can ask her, and your company, what does your company do, Marta Alicia? Okay. And then she tells you what her company does. ¿Sí? Así se preguntan el uno al otro, no se queda solo uno, uno preguntando, vean. Es que le vamos a hacer un... Ah, ya, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero iba a ser... El... Lo que pasa es que yo le... Yo le en la segunda yo le pregunto otra vez. Ah, ok. Pero sí se hacen la pregunta mutuamente. Ajá. Ok. Ok. Así les queda más... más eh colorida y más práctica, o sea, tienen más práctica, ¿ya? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Otra vez, Marta. My name is Marta. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Fernando. I work Agape. What, what does Agape do, Fernando? Agape is foundation that provides resources to the needs and force. Okay, provides. 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 Marta, what does your company do? My company eh, offer credit solution for acquisition of, of motorcycle. Motorcycle. Mm. Teacher, ya hice con OIC. Yes, ajá. OIC. 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 Does Agape have money branch? 
Yes. Uh, yes, No, I can't tell you. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Pero nosotros, nosotros, ¿qué le digo? Otra vez, nosotros, uh, nosotros eh, ayudamos, no, o, o, no, no, lo no. Mismo. Digo no. lo mismo. Yes, it does. We have three branches, four branches, o, las, o todas las sucursales que tenga, todas las oficinas que tienen El Salvador. Ah. Branch, sucursal, teacher. Cursal, tiendas, kioscos. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué sería así? Uh, yes, branch. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. I, yes, it does. We have four agencies in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. And what are the had, ay, me decir eso. headquarters? Headquarters. There in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Hoy la de abajo y tú empiezas. Uh -huh. uh, my, my name is Samari. Nice to meet. Nice to meet you too. I'm Rosa. I work for ERSA in El Salvador. Uh, para pronunciar las sílabas, la sílaba que tiene sería I, R, I, R, C. Ah, sí, es verdad, en inglés. Sí, verdad. Sería, sí, sería I, R, C. I, R, C, sí. Okay. Uh, I work I, for IRC in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what does IRC, IRC do, Rosa? We are the international. Vaya, ahora van a iniciar los más bonitos. A ver, ¿quién va a iniciar? Ah, ahí sí todos levantamos la mano, vea. <laughs> ok, now, uh, we want to listen to you guys. Uh, a performance, I mean, the oral performance and also uh, the vocabulary you used in the conversation, the pronunciation, right? We need to see that. Ok, we need to see the structures you used. So let's listen to group number one, Freddy and Isabel. Please role play the conversation. Okay, teacher. Um, uh, my name is Freddy. Nice to meet you. Isabel. Help me. Don't leave me. Yo estoy lista, puede empezar. Okay. My name is Freddy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. To I Isabel, I work for Don Pollo. What does Don Pollo do, Isabel? 
My company offered a delicious free chicken auction, auction specializing in a taco format. Oh, I see. Does Zampoyo have many branches? Yes, it does. We have 20 manu manufacturing branch in the country. And where are the headquarters? There, in Colombia. Sounds very interesting. That's new to me. What about you guys? Did you know that Don Pollo is, at, in, is in Colombia? Oh my goodness, this is very interesting. Is that is that true <laughs> or just inventing um, in the conversation? No, según capacitaciones de ella proviene. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Thank you for the it's data. Real information. Okay, very good, <laughs> real information, yes. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Very good job, guys. Very good job. Now, uh, what is missing is what does Freddy's company do? Okay? You didn't ask. Just hers, right? Because you just follow the uh, the example. But uh, ahí habrían podido preguntarle, ¿verdad? Y entonces la suya, Freddy, ¿qué hace, verdad? Extenderse un poquito. All right. Now, let's listen to... Damaris and Rosa. Okay, teacher. Eh, primero eh, lo de Damaris y luego vamos a decir lo mío. Oh, okay. Okay, Damaris. Okay. My name is Rosa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Damaris. I work for Claro Company in Samuel. What does Claro do, Damaris? Uh, we offer service of telecommunication, for example, residential internet line, line and different cell phone plans. Oh, I see. Does Claro have many branches? Yes. It does. We have four, four agencies in San Miguel. And what are the headquarters? There in San, in San Salvador. Okay, ahora Damaris. Okay. Uh, my name is Damaris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Rosa. I work for IRC in El Salvador. What does IRC, IRC, IRC do, Rosa? We are the international organization, no international rescue. Rescue commit commit. We respond to the world wars wars. I teacher is war wars wars. Uh, okay, the world's wars. Okay, uh -huh. wars wars humanitarian crisis. Okay, world. Oh, wars. I see. Does IR, IRC have money branch? Yes, it does. We have two branches in the country. And where and where are the headquarters? Uh huh uh huh. We are. Okay. Uh -huh. Man. Head. The headquarters. Oh, head. Headquarters. Head, head, headquarters. Okay. Okay. Breathe in, breathe out. Headquarters. Yeah. And where are the Hey, Damaris, Damaris, repeat. Headquarters. Headquarters. Yes. There are in the United States. Very good, girls. Very good. You did a, a really good job. Ajá. ¿Saben qué es lo que pasa? Que cuando eh, ya estamos nerviosas, como que pensamos... <laughs> Entonces no, soltemos acá, bla, 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 bla. soltemos lenguas, so, soltemos los cachetes y los labios, no nos mordamos mucho la lengua, así, ok, vale, vamos a ver, and relax, ok, there we go, 
let's listen to uh, Fernando Noel and Marta Esther. Okay, teacher. Okay. Empiece yo. Hello, good evening. My name is Marta. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Fernando. I work for Monolith. What does Monolith do, Fernando? Um, we manufacture construction materials. Oh, I see. Does Monolith have many branches? Yes, it does. We have four manufacturing. Yes, it does. We have manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Guatemala. Very good job. Thank you very much. I see a new participant over there. Hello, little baby. Welcome. Hi. Hi. A kiss. Hello. A kiss for that Hello. little beautiful girl. All right. Okay. Now, thank you very much, guys. And uh, let's continue with um, Carlos Edgardo and Gabriela. Good evening. My name is Carlos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Gabriela. I work for Liceo Cristiano College. What else in the Liceo Cristiano College, Gabriela? We are a company who offer education service. What does your company do, Carlos? My company offers quality coffee across the world wide with excellent flower cups. And where are the headquarters? Our headquarters is located in Merville City. We are in the beverage industry. Where is located your branch, Gabriela? My branch is located in Soyapango City. That's, that's, but that's <laughs> good. That's good. It means uh, because it doesn't have a headquarters, maybe. That is why you ask only about the branches, but that's good. And maybe you don't have branches. Do you have branches, Carlos? Well, I mean, your company. Does your company have branches? No. No, it's just a, a main office. It's, it's main office. Oh, okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, then. Now we are going to continue, guys. Okay, we are going to continue. Um, I have someone. I didn't get who was it. Are my eyes. Alma, petición del público. Vamos. Yay. <laughs> Okay. Hicimos una sola compañía, pero vamos a improvisar. My name is Alma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Aida. I work for Eurosport Fashion. What does Euroshop Fashion do? Aida? We manufacture in the design club of the women. Oh, great. Does Euroshop Fashion have many branch? Yes, it does. We have five manufacturing branch in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Spain. 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 Yeah, but that's good. Uh, okay, now um you said something about women. You have to use the plural noun, women. Because if you say woman, 
then you're gonna say ah woman and it's only for one woman so well, you, it's you, women women yeah plural women mm -hmm. I'm better than this. women only for women mm -hmm. all right there you go. So now let's continue, guys, because we want to see this other topic. Actually, we know this topic, but we are going to do just a little review, okay? We are going to do just a little review because we have to study just uh, some tips about the simple present. And we want just to talk about some uh, aspects, okay, in the simple present. So let's look at this. Uh, today we are in our video conference number seven, right? Video conference number seven. And by the way, guys, what date is it today? What date is it today? Thursday. Today is? Today is Wednesday. Is it? No. What day it what date is it today? Date. Oh. Today is Tuesday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tuesday, September twenty twenty-six. The of twenty twenty-three. 2023. Yes, a long way to say it, a complete way and the formal way. Today is Tuesday, September the 26th of 2023. It's valid if we just if we just say uh today is September the 26th and it's okay. Okay? But it's better in class if we practice the full form, okay? So I will ask again, what day to sit today? Today is September 26th. Very good. Now the full form. What day to see today? Today is Wednesday, September 26th of 2023. Carlos is Carlos, but I think today is not Wednesday. I think today is Tuesday. Okay. Today is Tuesday, Carlos. Okay, yeah, you got it now. Very good. Okay, we are talking about the simple present, okay? The simple present. When do we use the simple present? Who remembers? Who remembers? Okay, I will ask some questions. Do you work every day? Do you work every day? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I very do. good. Do you practice biosecurity measurements to prevent COVID-19 in your workplace? No, I don't. Uh -huh. no. no. No, we don't, right? No, we, don't. we don't anymore, right? We don't anymore, yeah? Okay, do they pay monthly in your job? Do they pay monthly in your job? No, they don't. Uh -huh. no, they, they don't. don't. No, they don't. No, in page and they, they pay. pay they pay. Again? They pay. Pay. They pay each 50 days. 15 days, 15, 15 days. days. Okay, that means by weekly or fortnight, right? Or fortnight. Fortnight is every, every 15 days. Every two weeks, bi weekly, fortnight. Yeah. yeah, so that's correct. Do you have weekends off? Do you have weekends no, off? No, I don't. Oh, sorry. I, no, I don't. <laughs> sorry. Oh. Yeah, we join to yes, your I sadness. <laughs> Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I yes, do. do. <laughs> yeah, and yes, like I this, do. and your face, right? Maybe. Oh my goodness! But yes, I do. maybe or sometimes. Sometimes. Some, some weekends. Uh -huh. Some weekends. So it means every other weekend, okay? O sea, unos fines de semana sí, unos no, okay? Every other weekend. 
every okay. other week. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, there you go. Uh, do it's you like similar this? to teacher? Is similar to every other day? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it's the same. You can say every other month too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can uh, do the combinations you want in vocabulary. All right. So do you like visiting relatives regularly? No. Number five, right? Do you like visiting relatives regularly? For example, your parents, if they are alive and you go and visit them to another city or maybe your cousins in another country or maybe uh, your uncle or aunt in any other city or maybe next to your house, right? Uh -huh. But do you like visiting relatives regularly? Your brothers, your sisters? No, I don't. No? You don't? Okay, then. No, mm -hmm. I don't. No, no I, I don't. don't. Or if you like, then yes, I do. Okay? Yes, I do. Very good. Okay, now, is your family original from San Salvador? Yes. Yes? I do. No, no, no. Is your family? No. Uh huh. Yes, we... You can say we are if you include uh yeah, in the are. answer, if you're included in the answer. Or yes, they are. Okay, yes, they yes, are because they your are. family, mm -hmm, it's a lot of people. So you can answer yes, they are, or yes, it is. It doesn't matter if you say it, yes, yes it they is. are, or yes, it is. But no do. In this case, no do. Uh number number seven. Is your workplace near your home? No, no. Mm -hmm. no, they no, it don't. isn't. No, it isn't. Very good. No, it isn't. Okay, it's far away, the opposite, right? Does your boss have a personal assistant? No. Yes. No, he or she, yeah. depending, right? They, he. No, he. Uh -huh. No, he they doesn't. They, she. No, no, does, does. Uh -huh. no, yes. They, they, yes, she does. She does. Okay. Yes. Okay. There you go. Yes, she or he, she right? Porque el jefe puede ser hombre o puede ser mujer. Entonces, usted tiene que decir de acuerdo a lo que es, ¿verdad? Yes, he yes, does, or no, he doesn't, or yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. Okay, these are questions about you, okay? So, um, I want to listen to you saying the questions. Aida, please, ask the first question to any of your classmates. Okay. Mm, Marina. <laughs> mm -hmm. No es nada personal. <laughs> Solo decir. Um, sí. Gabriela, do you work every day? Gabriela. No. Mm. I don't know. Uh, do you work every day? Do you work mm. every day? Okay, the answer, if the answer is no, then you're, you've got to say no. I don't. Uh, no, I don't. Very good. Now, Gabriela, please ask the second question to another classmate. Um, um, 
Marta Alicia. Do you practice the security mm. measurements? Measurement to prevent COVID 19 in your workplace? Yes, I do, teacher. Yes, uh, correct. you or yes, we, dependiendo, okay? Yes, I do or yes, we do. Yes, I do. All right. Now you, Marta Alicia, please continue. Um, Damaris, do they pay monthly in your job? No. Hmm? no, they don't. No, no they don't. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have weekends off? Esa sería la pregunta que usted debe hacer, Damaris, to another classmate, a otro compañero. Do you have weekly calls, Christian? Every others. Ajá. No recuerdo. Okay. Uh, do you work on weekends? Para decir un fin de semana sí o no. Okay, every other weekend. Okay, like this. Every other. Every every other weekend. Every other weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now continue. Every other weekend. Mm -hmm. Continue, Esther. Otra pregunta. Yes, number five. Sería. Um, pero... uh, Rosa. Rosa Estela. Ok. Do you like, do you like bici? Visiting relay. Relatives. Yes, I do. Okay, continue, Rosa. Okay, um, Fernando Enriquez se está durmiendo. <laughs> Fernando Enriquez, is your workplace near your home? You are mute. Perdón, sorry. Yes, is yes, is it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Continue, Fernando. Okay. Um, Isabel. Isabel. Does your boss have a personal assistant? No, I does. No, I does. Uh, no, he does. He does send. All right. No, he no, does he... send. No, no, he does send. Yes, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. There you go. Thank you very much, Isabel. So now, people, uh, we're going to continue because what we want to see are the questions, how to formulate questions. ¿Verdad que cuando uno nomás conoce a alguien, lo primero que hace es preguntar? 
¿Se han fijado? Después de saludar, ¿qué viene? Una pregunta. Después que le contestaron la pregunta, otra pregunta, ¿sí? Y si yo solo digo preguntas, estoy haciendo una entrevista, ¿verdad? Entonces, no. Vamos a hacer preguntas y luego following questions, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer preguntas y luego preguntas eh, acordes a lo que continúa. Por ejemplo, las preguntas que hicimos ahorita son preguntas de sí o no, ¿verdad? No dan mayor opción a platicar, pero abren un poquito el contacto. Entonces, por ejemplo, eh, do you like visiting relatives uh, regularly? Y usted me dice, no, I don't. Yo le preguntaría, but do you have relatives? Do you have relatives nearby? Ok, yo le preguntaría algo más, ¿verdad? O por ejemplo, si usted me dice, yes, I do, yo le diría, who do you visit? Ok, yo le preguntaría, mira, ¿hay a quién visitar? Ah, my mom, my parents-in-law, whatever, ok, whatever the people is. Pero siempre hay algo que queremos saber después, ¿verdad? Somos como curious. Y no solo es que seamos curiosos, sino que es necesario mantener la comunicación, ¿verdad? O mantener el flow, ¿ya? Yeah? Mantener el flow de la conversación. Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos eso? Con preguntas. No existe otra manera más que con preguntas. Entonces, veamos y recordemos un poquito de um, the questions we use, for example, when we um, first meet somebody, ¿ok? When we first meet somebody. So allow me just to show you the, um, the question words as a manner of remembering, and then we are going to read a conversation, okay, in our manual. So allow me to share the screen. And remember, these are the WH question words. Acordémonos que pueden ser question words o pueden ser question phrases. Por ejemplo, una question phrase puede ser, what time is it, ¿verdad? What time? Por ejemplo, una question phrase puede ser, what department do you work in? ¿Verdad? What department? O una question phrase o puede ser, por ejemplo, um, uh, what branch do you work at? ¿Verdad? What branch? Um, hay muchas eh, frases que podríamos armar antes del auxiliar en una eh, conversación, en una pregunta, perdón. Entonces, recordemos, the most common words to ask questions, who, what, where, why, and how. Mm -hmm. Now, <coughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Isabel, please read these. <clears throat> this definition about who. When do we use who? Um, Teroleo, teacher. Yes, please. Yeah. Who to ask about a person or people? people. Yes, people, people. People. Yes, thank you. Fernando, when do we use what? Well, Fernando. You, thank you for volunteering, Fernando Enrique. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Use, you use what to ask about things. Very good, thank you. Now, Freddy, please, about where? When do we use where? Um, work to ask about place. Thank you. Aida, when do we use why? You are muted. Okay. You use why to ask about a reason. Thank you. And now, please, Alma, uh, when do we use how? Uh, you have you use house to ask about manner or form. Uh, or forms yes thank you mm -hmm. okay now let's read a conversation you know uh here we are going to find what do you do and what does the girl over there do so we are 
seeing the third person uh, structure and the plural structure, even though with the I and you, we use do, right? So, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Dong? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you too. Miss Tate, let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Mr. Jung, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Okay. Now, <clears throat> here we see a lot of people involved in the conversation and everyone takes a place, right? It takes a place in the conversation. So let's look for Miss Tate, Mr. Young, Mario, and Leo. Okay, four people. Now, okay, Miss Tate, Rosa, Mr. Young. Who wants to be Mr. Young? Mr. Young Carlos Edgardo, thank you. Miss <laughs> no, Ma Mario. Mario will be Fernando. Fernando and Fernando, okay? Fernando Enrique, Mario, and Fernando Noel Leo. All right, let's start. Okay, teacher. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Mr. Tate. I'm Miss, the... Miss, Miss. Oh, I'm M Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. I did, I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let, let me introduce the staff. He is Mario. He is the branch manager and he is Leo. Mario. Mario, Mario. Fernando, Enrique. Mario. Uh, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Uh -huh. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you, what do you do? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm part of the... Great. Great. Who... Uh, uh, like, um... Oh, great. Um, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She is Nisa. She is in charge of two portraits. Purchases. Purchases. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, guys, is there any question about this conversation? What is the miss? Uh, miss, miss. Uh -huh. uh, Tate is una chica. Yes. <laughs> Ah, pensé que yeah. no, 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 it's a lady, uh -huh. sure. tell me, well, what is the difference of nice meeting you and nice to meet you, actually it doesn't have much difference between, you can use them interchangeably because they use it like that, okay, and it's just as a manner of, uh, get a variation in your speaking because if you are always saying nice to meet you nice to meet you nice to meet you right so nice meeting you yeah so it's um here it doesn't make that much difference okay mm -hmm. the same yeah that's fine oh, okay. all right any other question Okay, then, guys, um, I just want to ask you some questions, okay? Let's start by looking at these people, okay? Who is that? 
Who is that? He is Donald Trump. Okay, and what does he do? Mm -hmm. Ex-president of United States. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we say that he is a former president okay, from the United States. They have to write this like this, but they 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 get they are very sensible, sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what does he do? Mm -hmm. President. Okay. He is a former president from the U.S. Okay, from the United States. Now, who is that? Okay, and what does he do? Uh, he's an actor. He's an actor. Actors. And he's an actor. Okay. The movie. Okay, he is a movie. The movie, the action. actor. Okay, he's a movie actor. Okay, movies, actor. Okay, now, do you see the last picture? We have three people there. Okay, we have three people there. Can you describe these other? Mm -hmm. ya no they are. No preguntaríamos solo por uno, ¿verdad? Porque como están los tres, entonces, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? Ajá, la pondríamos, a ver si me agarra aquí, si no es solo aquí. Diplomatic persons. Ok, no, pero la pregunta, la pre estamos enfocados ah, en las preguntas who, ahorita. Who are that? Who are, who are those? That's those. Okay. Mm. El plural, cuando es esos, aquellos, sería okay. those, right? Who are those? Mm -hmm. Who are those? Who are those? They are diplomatic person in El Salvador. They are... Are you sure diplomatic? Not politicians? Ah, politicians. Politician. Okay, Politician. they are politicians. Um, Salvadoran politicians, they right? Know. Salvadoran politicians. All right? Yeah. So, yes. Instead of saying for each, uh, each person. But if I ask exactly, who's the one on the left? Who's the one on the left? Who is the one on the left? He is the president of, president of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. He is okay. the 12th president. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The current, current president of El Salvador. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell me. Uh, it's going to say disabled instead of El Salvador in the country name. Mm, again? I'm sorry? It's, it's going to say disabled instead of El Salvador in the country name. Oh, no, no, no. It's not correct. It's not correct. You have to say El Salvador. Not the savior, because the savior is a, a translation and it is not the name of our country. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then, um, who is the one in the middle? Who is the one in the middle? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> don't you remember I... a person called Hasbun something? I don't remember if it is Ato, Ato Hasbun. Do you remember? I think he's not with us anymore. Yeah, he passed away, I think. Right? Did he pass away? Do you know him? Who knows him? Who knows about him? Nobody? Son muy jovencitos ustedes, quizás, vean. <laughs> si tan jovencitos van a decir ya. <laughs> el, 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 el
Okay. I didn't I didn't want to ask him uh, I mean about him in the first place. But okay, let's ask. Okay. Who is the one on the right? Mm -hmm. Who's the one on the right? He is a former <laughs> president. <laughs> yeah. From El Salvador, yeah. From El Salvador, yeah. From El Salvador. There you go. Former means ex, right? Ex president. Okay, there you are. For example, if you're going to talk about your ex husband, you can say my former husband. Okay, you can say that too. All right. Former, like in line, right? <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. All right, people, but what do they do? What do they do? Well, they uh, are presidents, right? They are or they were presidents. Okay, now, uh, let me just to see what time it is. What time is it? Six minutes before a 10. Oh, okay. 54, all right, thank you. Okay, just give me one second. I will stop sharing. And in our manual, we have a an activity. Okay, we have an activity, and this is easy. So I want you to go to page twenty one. All right, page twenty one. And let's think about these questions. Remember, we are focused and questions, how to form the questions. Okay, let's complete the questions and write the answers. Number one, according to the conversation. What does my do? Mm -hmm. So what is the answer? Ariel? He's a branch manager. Okay. All right, there we go. And number two. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do, Leo? In charge of the kitchen staff. All right. And number three? What does? Mm -hmm. Lisa, do. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? In charge of the chase. Okay, <laughs> there you go. So this is the way to um, formulate a a question the pattern is wh question word then the auxiliary or the helping verb do or does then the subject remember if it is plural or singular third person or another subject then we have to take it to notice that and then the verb in the base form the verb in the base form okay now you tell me, guys, what is the structure? A ver, 
Escríbanme en el chat ahorita cuál es la estructura de las preguntas en presente simple con WH. Vamos todos escribiendo la estructura. Yes, there you are. Mm -hmm. That is correct. There you go. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. And there you go, Alma. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Carlos, for sharing. Yeah, that's correct, Rosa. Thank you, Carlos Elgardo. Thank you, Aida. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I think, uh, well, time is up. So remember to turn your camera on and when I call your name, please say present. Today's session one-on-one -on -one is uh, for Evelyn Yajaira, but she's not connected anymore. So, uh, Fernando Enrique, are you able to stay with me? Sorry? Uh, for the session one-on-one. -on -one. ¿Se quiere quedar sus 10 minutos a comer este tamalitos de chipilín con chocolate caliente? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sí. Yeah. yeah. Everybody like, oh, with a little cream and some sauce. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. There you go. Okay, then, everybody, please, uh, ready? And um, there we go. There we go. Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez. Present teacher. Alba y Amilet Hernández Vázquez. Your teacher. Okay. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Alarcón Galdames. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Present teacher. Ok. Damaris Lizette Guevara Herrera. Present teacher. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez de Jacinto. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo. Present teacher. Ok. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Present teacher. All right. Gabriela Lizette Hernández Cruz. Present. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Ok. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Marta Esther Ayala Díaz. Ronaldo José Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher. Ok. Thank you, Marta Esther. Ronaldo le pidió permiso para ir a pasar consulta. Yes, you're right. Now I will. Thank you, thank you for reminding me. Okay, um... Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher. Okay, Saul Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Oh, I, I remember. Thank you, Stephanie. All right, people. Uh, time is up. So see you tomorrow. Remember to submit your uh, homework and have a very good rest. 
Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, Fernando. Bye, teacher. Goodbye, Isabel. Teacher. Tell me, Marta Alicia. Sorry, no escuché mi nombre en la lista. Okay, allow me just to check you in. Okay, Marta Alicia. All right, thank you, Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Thank you very much for reminding me. Bye. Okay, okay have a very good night. Bye. Okay, here we are, Fernando. Do you have any question? A lot. I can't not hear you. You are muted. Sorry. No problem. Uh huh. Tell Bye. me. Tell me. Bye, teacher. Um, pues aquí, pues, prácticamente sentí que bajó un poquito esta última vez y uh -huh. y no sé la verdad. La verdad creo que ah uh, bueno he vuelto he vuelto y retomó la primera semana sí me costó por debido a mucho tiempo y Y sí, como sí. le preguntaba, no sabía si realmente uh, qué tanto había perdido tiempo. Porque como eso es preocupante en el momento para nosotros. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Por el 80% que, que re, deberíamos de mantener. Exacto, exacto. Tiene que mantener uh -huh. su tiempo eh, intacto. Y este, bueno, no tengo ninguna marca ni llamada de atención en su nombre, ¿verdad? Porque como... No sé si lo han estado contactando cada vez, ¿verdad? Eh, pues, ajá. Uh, ajá, mandándome lo, lo del link, eh, por ejemplo, ahora lo de la, que iba a estar a alguien de Insafor, algo así, le entendía eh, el mensaje que nos mandaron, ¿verdad? Ok, uh -huh. Entonces, vaya, ahorita estamos, quiero ver, mmm, no está tan bajo, pero sí está bajo. Sí, porque ya deberíamos de ir en los 600 minutos, ¿verdad? En los 600 y un poquito más minutos y tiene 538 minutos de conexión. Entonces, pues ahí sí, hay que ponerse listo a no faltar de aquí para allá. Y la otra cosa es que cuando usted así sea que, por ejemplo, tiene uno que se conecta un poquito, eh, que eh, usted me puso mensaje y eso, ¿verdad? Eh, no se puede hacer mucho en, en, en esto de que pues siempre le va a contar para abajo, ¿verdad? En la asistencia. Pero uh -huh. usted manténgase firme. Usted no deje de asistir. Ahorita usted trate al máximo de estar conectado, ¿verdad? Así como hacemos y puede estar como oyente también porque esté en una reunión o porque va manejando. Igual puede estar conectado como oyente, solo me avisa, pero no se desconecte, ¿verdad? Y sí, para, no, pero eso me preocupe. Uh -huh, para verdad, mejorar los, los conceptos que no le han quedado claros, entonces usted tiene que volver a ver los videos, ¿verdad? Eso sí, manténgase usted poniéndolos a cada rato los videos para poder estar como al día en el, en el desarrollo, ¿verdad? De cada frase que vamos aprendiendo, porque si se fija son preguntas, respuestas, preguntas, respuestas. Entonces, porque prácticamente de eso se trata ya este módulo, ¿verdad? Este módulo se trata ya de hablar, de usar las eh, frases que hemos aprendido en los módulos anteriores. Entonces, usted póngale coco y póngale, eh, ponga a póngase a escuchar los videos, ¿verdad? Y pues acuérdese que tenemos actividades en las que puede participar, por ejemplo, en las discusiones, en el foro, ¿verdad? De discusión, puede entrar. Ahí, ahí les posté una de un video, no sé si ya la vio, la del video. No, no, fíjese que ahí no le, no, no hay cómo entrar porque estaba, todo, bueno, tratando de ponerme al día. ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, pero no, por ejemplo, Ajá. estaba viendo Ajá. supuestamente el, el foro. Ajá. Estamos en curso, ¿verdad? Sí. No, eh, ajá, usted ahorita está en curso, va, entonces aquí donde dice foro o discusión, no sé cómo le aparece a usted, forum ah, o discusión, discussion, discus ah, va. ahí donde le aparece discusión, dele clic y luego le aparece un link que dice todos los temas 
Dele clic ahí y le van a aparecer ahí en todas las que debe participar. Si se fija, varios de sus compañeros no han participado y eso les resta. Les resta bastante la oportunidad pues de practicar un poquito más, ¿verdad? Entonces, Ah, ya tengo aquí. uh -huh. Ajá. Por ejemplo, ahí. uno, teacher, ¿cuál, cuál podría ser? Vale, mire. En esta que dice ING Verbs Form After Prepositions es una página del manual, ¿verdad? En donde usted va a completar estas partes de acuerdo a lo que le dice acá. Completar las preguntas que están aquí abajo con la forma apropiada del verbo. Acuérdese que después de una preposición va un verbo con ING. Entonces, eh, dice que hay que leer este organigrama ¿Verdad? Y completar las preguntas y después, de acuerdo a lo que ven en el organigrama, dar la respuesta. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, who is responsible for, y me da el verbo, supervising the machine operators. Y luego yo voy aquí y busco, machine operators están aquí. Entonces, ¿quién es el encargado? ¿O quién es el que los supervisa? ¿Verdad? A ellos, ¿ah? supervisor. Ok, who is responsible for, who is in charge of, y luego así, usted va ahí completando. Entonces, aquí usted me hace las oraciones, ¿ya? Yeah. Por ejemplo, who is responsible, y así, ¿ok? Okay. Ahí me hace usted todas las oraciones, ¿ok? Ese es un... De ahí la otra dice Mission and Vision Statements Difference. Esto es lo que hicimos en la eh, lectura, ¿verdad? La lectura está acá y aquí abajo había que presentar sus eh, eh, respuestas a estas cuatro preguntas que poníamos acá. No sé si ya está su grupo acá, que ya lo haya subido. ¿verdad? Pero así, mire, Alma lo hizo individual, Marisol lo ha hecho, perdón, María Isabel lo ha hecho individual y así sucesivamente. Usted puede. En todo caso, si no lo ha subido en mi grupo, con quien yo iba incluido, lo puedo subir. Yo sé si realmente nadie, o sea, no, No, hasta porque la este, fecha, ajá, es que en grupo. este es el de la lectura, ¿se acuerda? Este usted hace clic aquí y la, lo lleva a un sitio para hacer una lectura, esta lectura. Entonces usted ahí lee ese artículo y de acuerdo a lo que ese artículo dice, entonces usted va a contestar las preguntas. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Uh Pero en el, perdón, en el caso que no me acuerdo yo con quién iba, y si no lo tengo ahí actualizado, no está actualizado de los que yo estoy, de los que estuve, puedo subirlo personalmente así como alma y Cu cuenta. -huh. Sí, exacto, claro que cuenta. Cuenta para su práctica. ¿verdad? Cuenta Sí. para su práctica y también pues para, eh, también para, eh, para que en las auditorías, por ejemplo, aparezca que usted sí ha participado, ¿verdad? Y ahí tenemos esta otra, esta es la presentación que hicieron, usted ya varios, ve, aquí yo creo que ya está el suyo, ¿verdad? Ya lo subieron. Ahora, what are the core values about? Esta es una actividad en donde usted va a ir en este clic y va a ver un video, este video que está acá. Este video es acerca de eh, cuando eh, invitan para que se enlisten en un cuerpo de policía, ¿verdad? Son las convocatorias. Entonces, ahí hablan de los valores que debe desarrollar o tener la persona que quiere enlistarse o lo que va a ir a aprender al ser parte de esa de ese cuerpo policial. Entonces, la pregunta es, make a list of the values of the Delaware Police. De acuerdo a este video, usted va a hacer la lista así como la ha hecho Saúl acá. Mire, aquí ha hecho, él vio el video, hizo su lista. Mire, y ahí va. Y solo él la ha hecho, mire. Ok, así que vaya y vea ese video, le va a servir para listening. Y así Ok. sucesivamente, verá, cada actividad está posteada. Yo siempre les voy avisando cuando lo posteo. Y luego, pues, Sí, las ok. tareas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Las tareas. Sí, ¿Cómo las vamos tareas con creo, las creo tareas, que sí. Fernando? Pues yo creo que me faltan, la verdad. Para serle sincero, sí. Eh, como le digo, la semana pasada sí anduve más perdido que ver qué va. 
Sí, sí. Pues ahorita me está costando un poquito porque estoy en cierre prácticamente esta semana, pero eh, prácticamente vengo enfocado que perdí la semana pasada tiempo y pues aquí voy que no quiero perder ya ni, ni un minuto Okay. si es posible. ¿va? Ah, ok. Si quiere, entonces hagamos las tareas en este momento. Empecemos por la número uno, ¿ya? Hagamos la uno y la dos, y luego ya se queda haciendo las demás usted. ¿Qué le parece? Sí, está bien. Ok. Vaya, vamos entonces a la tarea número uno. ¿Qué sería? Nos vamos ahí donde dice curso. Vea, igual. Y ahí ya sabe entrar ustedes. Vamos a ver. Y luego pues tenemos la tarea número uno. ¿Sí? Ahí es de eh, los infinitivos de propósito. Esos son los to, ¿verdad? Los que llevan la partícula to. Y pues responden a la pregunta por qué, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a ir y ver eso, ¿sí? Pero me sale un video. ¿En dónde le Ah, sale video? perdón. Sí, sí, en las tareas. videoconferencia, vale, me dijo que estábamos en curso, ¿verdad? Ajá. Luego en curso, este, Section one. Texto One, ajá. Uh -huh. Ya se expande y aquí dice, ah, hay que estar home, el homework. Uh Ajá, exacto, para las tareas. La, la número -huh. uno, después de la primera videoconferencia, para que la haga, porque no me ha hecho las de la uno, ¿verdad? Entonces, veamos si están escritas Ah, correctas ya. o incorrectas. Leamos esta oración. My company delayed to ship the package. Ah, ¿está bien escrita o no está bien escrita? To ship. Mire, está bien escrita porque tiene Sí. el infinitivo de propósito ahí bien escrito. ¿Verdad? Vamos a ver la número dos. Number two. We the exist to bring. Telecommunication solution for business, Businesses. businesses in rural areas. Ajá. Entonces, veamos si el infinitivo está correcto. El infinitivo es to más la forma base del verbo. No puede llevar un ing, entonces no está correcto. Aquí lo correcto sería to bring, pero no to Sí. bring in. Mira, to bring. Vamos a ver número tres, number three. My company's vision is to become becoming the most prefer preferring preferred prefer higher salon for adolescents. Ajá, for adolescents. A ver, veamos el infinitivo, ¿está correcto o no está correcto? Mm. Becoming. Uh -huh. Está Aquí inco decíamos, ajá, está incorrecto. acabar, uh -huh, Ajá. porque no puede llevar ING, ¿verdad? Y en eje. Ah, así es. Entonces aquí debiera de llevar una E, become, Become. ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, number four. Our mission is to provide To help. provide. Ajá, ¿cómo sería? Our Ajá, mission, ¿verdad? yes. Is to, is to provide helping, testing, and economic military construction workers Uh wherever, -huh. Wherever. wherever they, they are. Uh -huh. Is it correct or incorrect? Correcto. Okay. Number five. We ambition be leaders in the distribution of energy drinks in their regional markets. Uh -huh. Market. Uh -huh. ¿Está correcto o incorrecto? ¿Dónde estará el infinitivo? Infinitivo. Con la palabra to. No hay tú, solo Ajá. el B. Ajá. Entonces está incorrecto. Tiene Incorrecto. que llevar el to, ¿verdad? To be.
Ajá. Ahora que ya está así, ya entonces le damos a enviar. ¿Ya lo hizo el suyo ahí? Sí, ya lo hice aquí. Vale. ¿Ya le dio a enviar? Sí. Ok. Vamos a ver number two. Aquí okay. en esta vamos a ver después de una preposición. Ya la preposición puede ser for, of, puede ser, dependiendo de la frase, puede ser to, ¿ok? Pero en este caso más es of and for, ¿ok? Vamos a ver acá. Number one. Who is responsible for, y luego nos dice el verbo. ¿Cuál es la forma correcta de poner el verbo acá? Mm, to. No, después, ajá, ah, perdón. después de las perdón. preposiciones van con mm -hmm. ing. ING. Ajá. Ok. For supervising. supervising. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver la otra. Who is in charge of? Sería checking. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Number three. Sería Repairing. Repairing, yes. Repairing. Repairing. Mm -hmm. Repairing. And number four. Number four. Sería selling. Selling. Exactly. Selling. 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 Mm -hmm. La doble L en inglés se pronuncia como una L. Solo una L. Selling, oh, ajá. Okay. Aunque lleve dos, se pone como L, nada más. A ver, number five. Uh, number five, assisting. Assisting, yes, assisting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go, yeah, we did it. <laughs> oh. Now, let's go to see the number three. Okay. Okay, number three. Esta es la voz pasiva. La voz pasiva está formada por el verbo be y el pasado participio del verbo. En, aprendimos algunos como más comunes, que era is known, are rated y con el ed al final, ¿verdad? Con el mm -hmm. ed al final. Vamos a ver entonces. Number one. Number one. Um... Our products is Como es plural, tenemos que usar are. Are. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Are good. Rated. Rated. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, number two. Number three is este. Are. All the rest are managed. Es plural también, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. vamos a usar are. Y el are verbo es participio, ¿verdad? Mire, considered. 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 Vamos a ver, number three. Es singular, es singular, ¿verdad? Es singular, así es. En este caso es is Sin. Very good. Is sin. Mm -hmm. Number four. The company. No. Mm -hmm. Como es Sería plural. is, ¿verdad? Este is. Es, no, este es singular. Ah, sí. Ajá, perdón. Ajá. Ajá, sí, claro. Y el pasado participio de no. Es is no. Known. No. Known. Este es irregular, por eso es is known. Porque ahí okay. no lleva de, perdón. Porque la forma ya está establecida. Ese es un verbo irregular, ¿verdad? Oh. Los que son regulares terminan en ed, pero no, no es un verbo regular. Eso es de memorizarse. Hoy, uh -huh. el okay. verbo no, el pasado participio es known. ¿Ok? Ok. Vamos a ver. Number five. Dairy vegetables. 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 
un vehículo y comprar. Sería, como son varios, uh -huh. eh, sería eh, R, uh -huh. rate, con, con T, con D, perdón. Ok, rated. Uh -huh. Y a ver, yes, we did it. <risa> Vamos a ver, number four. <coughs> Aquí tenemos que poner el valor. Mire, dice, read the following sentences and type the value. Que escriba el valor, el core value, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. If you are respectful, you show. ¿Qué valor muestra si usted es respetuoso? Uh, ¿Qué valor sería? Ah, no, no sé, perdón. Respect. Okay. Respect. Ah, yeah. ok. Respect. Hmm? Ah, Esos son los valores. Vale, vamos a ver. If you are punctual, you show. Punctual. Ajá. Puntual. Puntuality. Ajá. Entonces usted va a escribir ahí. Va escribiéndola ya de una vez. Ah. Punctuality. Ajá. Bueno, yo me quedé en la... ¿No le dio en la... la anterior? No, no la seguí en la anterior, pero, pero ah, ya, ah. ya leí prácticamente el, el hilo de lo, como lo va haciendo usted. Ah, ok. Va, ¿Y aquí Ajá. vamos bien? Sí, vamos bien. Y ahí okay. este... Honesty. Es... Ajá, escríbalo ahí. Vamos a ver. Honesty. Uh -huh. Y es líder. Uh -huh. Líder. Líder. Liderazgo. Leadership. Uh -huh. And number five. Loyalty. Uh -huh. Ok. Dele ahí usted enviar. No deja, ah, es que el curso no está, ya sí, ya está. Ok. Respetamos bien. Vaya, ya le dio bien. Le... Sí. Va. Ahora la última tarea, vamos a la última tarea. Ok. We use the pa... Esta es teórica, ok. A ver, usted léalo, vamos a ver. We, we use, we use, así es, perdón. Uh -huh. We use, the passive, the passive in which we don't want our need to be specific. Wow, the dig action, the uh -huh. action. Uh -huh. Nosotros, um... ¿Será verdadero o será falso? Vaya, vaya si ahí en el manual. Um... Ok, mírame. Ajá, who did the action, you're right. Ajá, va. Es uh -huh. ¿Lo puede ver el manual? Permítame. En el mío. Eh, no mira el mío ahorita. Quiero ver. Uh, ¿Dónde está? Acá. ¿Sí, ¿Sí lo mira o no? No, ahorita no le veo. Oh, ok. Solo veo la misma pantalla. Ah, vale. Pero ahí en el manual, ya le voy a decir, oh. está en la página número... Eh, 16. Page 16. Ahí sí está. Ajá. Page 16. Ahí mira usted. De acuerdo a la lo que dice 16. ahí. Uh -huh. 
¿Ya lo mira ahí? ¿Sí? Ya lo Eh, veo. quiero ver. Lo quité yo ahorita. Aquí está. Sí. How to use it? The passive voice. Uh -huh. A por. Ah, sí, así es. Ok, ¿será verdad o será eh, falso? True or false. Dice, we use the passive when we don't want or need to specify who did the action. Teoría. Ajá. Uh -huh. True, Teoría. right? Correcto. True or false? Ay, correcto. Permita, quiero ver, ya me confundí. ¿Qué es lo más importante en la voz pasiva? ¿El que hace la acción o la acción? En la voz pasiva lo importante es la acción, no el que hace la acción. ¿Por qué? Porque es pasiva. La activa es porque sí es importante quién está haciendo la acción. Tenemos que decir el sujeto. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, eh, yo puedo decir, yo, eh, vamos a ver, yo desayuno a las 7, ¿sí? Entonces, yo digo, I have breakfast at 7 a.m. Pero, si no es importante que yo soy la que desayuno, sino que el desayuno se toma a las 7, entonces yo voy a decir, the breakfast, I mean, eh, the, the breakfast is had, okay, it's had at 7 a.m., okay? Mm -hmm. So, es más importante en la voz pasiva la acción, no el que hace la acción, okay? Okay. Yeah. Number two, we use... Tengo que no lo veo. No tiene ahí la suya. Perdón, perdón. Yo pensé ah, que usted no? me la estaba compartiendo. Espérame, espérame. No, ahorita no. Se me Ajá. olvidó porque me quité de aquí de donde estoy a la par de usted. Va. ¿Y, ¿Y no puede compartir la suya? ¿Cómo no? Ok. Sería la número... Eh, cinco. Cinco. Tres, sí, ya. Cuatro. Esta es la número cinco. Bye. Esta. Uh -huh. Va, okay. entonces ahí la primera dijimos que era true, ¿verdad? Ahora veamos sí. la number two. We use the verb did I be the past participle to the from the passive. Uh -huh. To from the passive. Ajá, ¿qué es lo que usamos para formar la voz pasiva? ¿El Usamos verbo? el verbo en qué tiempo? En pasado participio, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero tiene que ir con el verbo be. Entonces, sí, ¿verdad? Sería verdad. Sí. Ok. Vamos a ver number three. You can all meet well. Did it action with you and y así de pasivo. Uh -huh. Para omitir eso, este... yeah. Usted puede omitirlo, okay. eh, digamos, el autor de la acción, usted puede omitirlo o no lo puede omitir. No, sí, no lo, lo puedo omitir. No, como no, oh, sí. sí lo puede omitir porque no es importante. Y es nada uh... más, solo cuando sí sea importante, por ejemplo, el autor de un libro que fue escrito por o una eh, obra grande o algo en la historia, queda que esa acción fue hecha por, ah, pues entonces si usamos by, ¿verdad? Usamos la mm. palabra by y decimos el nombre, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. O usamos un pronombre objeto. Entonces, sí lo podemos omitir. Sí lo podemos omitir. Ah, Exacto, okay. it's yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Number okay. four. Number four, you can mention the door of the action. Be adding. Be. 
by add, adding by. By. By significa por. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, usted dice, this letter was written by, y dice el nombre de la persona. Esta carta fue escrita por, ¿ok? Ese por se dice by, ¿ok? Escrita por, written by. Entonces, sí, ¿verdad? True. Number five. Didur. 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 Este. Didur is more important than the action. Than the action. Than the action. Uh -huh. ¿Sería verdad o sería mentira eso? ¿Qué es lo más importante en la voz pasiva? ¿El que hace la acción o la acción? La acción. La acción. Entonces, la número cinco sería... Falso, ¿verdad? Porque no es el doer, sino que la action. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Y ahora le da a enviar. Y ya hicimos las cinco. Yes, Fernando. <risa> ahora a usted le toca hacer las seis y las siete, ¿verdad? Ya para okay. ponerse al día. Vale, perfecto. Ok. Bueno, uh -huh. Thank teacher. you very much. Eh, thank you por, por todo el apoyo y la paciencia también. No problem, no problem. We are doing a very good job. All right. So, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a very good night. Okay. Good night. Bye.